The Honourable Member from Somerset, Wilmot. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We've had some open-minded discussions in here about rethinking our approaches on PEI during the last few weeks. Conversations about economics and well-being are unfolding in jurisdictions all over the world, and I'm following that discussion with great interest. In some places, that discussion is centering around donuts. I'm talking about donut economics, a really different approach to both considering our goals for the economy and its purpose in the first place. This framework would establish a set of basic needs as a social floor that we agree no one should fall below. Things like access to enough food, appropriate housing, education, healthcare, and basic needs create the donut's inner ring. The outer ring is framed by our environmental limits. Indicators like climate change, freshwater withdrawals, nitrogen load, and chemical pollution. This outer ring is an acknowledgement of science, a realization that we cannot take at a rate faster than nature can regenerate, nor can we pollute faster than nature can absorb. Both the social foundation of the inner ring and the outer environmental ring is the donut in which we must design our policies to meet the needs of people within the means of our planet. We talk a lot in here about wanting to use that kind of lens anyway. So let's put our money where our mouth is and use the data we have to chart what our donut looks like so far. Where are we falling short? How are we really doing when it comes to taking care of islanders? Which limits are we overshooting? Are we using our soil and water in a truly sustainable way? If we don't actually know how we're doing, how will we ever do what we say we're going to? Considering from the beginning that we need to stay within the limits on both sides of the donut would fundamentally change the way we think about solutions and will force us to work smarter. And, we're cl and we'll be clearly able to see if we are getting better. Instead of demanding annual GDP growth, whether or not it causes people in our environment to thrive, let's demand that our people and environment thrive, whether or not it causes the GDP to grow. Amsterdam has announced their intention of doing exactly this to mend their post-COVID economy. We could do it too. I challenge the Premier to take up the task of getting PEI into the donut. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.